The debt ceiling impasse has had a ripple effect across a variety of asset classes. Market participants have been cautious of trading too far into riskier assets, including alternatives like crypto. For more on that subject, we have Anthony Trenchev, co-founder and managing partner of Nexo. So, Anthony, set the stage for us. How has the debt impasse been affecting the crypto market? Well, for those of us who have been around a little longer, you know, with every uh, debt ceiling debate, it, the U.S. is the closest it has ever been into the uh, to the abyss. And, you know, we know how this ends, uh, you know, after all the rhetoric and the political capital has been max, maxed out on both sides of the aisle. I think there will be uh, a, a amicable resolution and uh, it will be raised and we can return to normal. I find it insane that the credit uh, default swaps on uh, on U.S. debt are higher than UBS, which, you know, was amidst uh, uh, turmoil uh, in, in uh, mid March, uh, I looked to short CDS. It turns out you have to have at least $100 million to do that. So not really my risk profile, but I think the whole thing is insane. It will settle down. But the good thing is that this all is positive for crypto. So, okay, you speak of some positives, but crypto has been experiencing a what's called crypto winter. Are we still in a crypto winter? Uh, we are. Uh, when you take the midterm view, obviously, we came a long way down from the all time highs of 70. But then again, we had more than 100 percent in appreciation uh, year to date. And we still are uh, closing to the highs of the year. You know, I think uh, it was very positive uh, for Bitcoin as an asset class, the way it performed during the uh, regional uh, banks crisis uh, mid March. You know, we saw the decoupling of the asset that yet again, crypto in general, in particular Bitcoin, uh, which performed uh, as the inflation and catastrophe hedge that it was designed to be. Uh, and I just think that this shows us that Bitcoin is in a class and leak of its own when compared to other crypto, maybe Ethereum uh, as well, but, you know, a better version of gold. So obviously it's going to thrive during uncertainty and uncertainty is the only constant we have had this past few years and that we will continue to have uh, in the years to come, in my humble opinion. So I know Bitcoin has been searching to kind of break out at, say, the 30,000 level, and it's not there yet, even though it's up today. Uh, what, how is the macroeconomic backdrop, whether we're talking about inflation or where interest rates stand, affecting Bitcoin, Ethereum and the broader crypto market? Yeah, I mean, like whatever we talked about, whether it's uh, interest rates, whether it's uh, U.S. debt ceiling, it ultimately comes back to the Fed and, you know, uh, their expanding or contracting monetary policy. I think we've seen the contraction uh, part um, play out to um, to a large extent. So I, you know, probably will have a few more modest uh, rate heights, but that will be about it. And then I think we have been, uh, we will be in a sort of a permanently high plateau for a, a while. So this uh, is already been priced in. And that's why we have been trading flat across the, you know, crypto for a while now, but also, you know, equities uh, and, and, and some commodities as well. Uh, and I think that is already priced in, but we will soon start to price in what will then be uh, imminent. And it is the late um, uh, uh, in the year lowering of rates, which I anticipate will be the response to uh, not so high inflation. And we already saw it coming down to four, four and a half percent in real terms. So, you know, um, I think this is all good for crypto on the one, one and a half to two year horizon. OK, and I got to ask you really quickly about just these meme coins. Uh, look, they come into play. They develop a lot of just interest. They become really popular. But then some people also call them scammy. You had Dogecoin. Now you have I don't even know how to pronounce it. Pepe coin. What does that do to confidence in the crypto market? Yeah, uh, here I'm not going to make many friends in the crypto industry, but I think that this simply shows that we have not learned some of the lessons of the past and people get caught up in the next cool thing and um, a, a mania, whether it's now NFTs on 
Bitcoin that is that are causing congestions of the network, whether it's other forms of insane NFTs which have zero to no utility. And actually, that is the thing that people wear as a badge of honor that this has no utility and it's a big middle finger to you know the financial system. Uh, it's all fun if you can probably exert uh, uh, you know risk management uh, and prudent uh, asset management for your portfolio and your family, but this can all pretty quickly um, end in tears. So you have to tread with caution, but it is reminiscent of some of the stupidity that the blockchain uh, space has exhibited in the past. So I really think it's counterproductive. And Anthony, it would be remiss of me not to ask, uh, crypto challenges have affected your business, particularly some legal challenges overseas uh, in the UK. Where do you stand with those? Oh, there are no legal challenges to speak of in the UK. I think there was a non-news event that for some reason got reported very heavily. We dissolved two dormant companies that uh, we had intention to apply for certain licenses that then we changed plans so really no event here uh, the way we go about servicing our clients on a global uh, basis is very transparent uh, and remains unchanged so nothing changes for the clients you know we had some positive news in uh, uh, towards the end of January where we exited uh, the United States in a manner which you know caused some eyebrows settling uh, you know with uh, all 50 um, uh, state regulators, the SEC on the federal level. Turns out this was the smart move because we know all the charges to uh, companies uh, that happened in the United States with this regulatory crackdown. So I uh, beg to differ. This has all been very positive news on the legal side uh, of the Nexo business. And we are set up for the next bull run in crypto, which is imminent in my opinion. All right, we'll have to leave it there. Anthony Trenchev, co-founder, managing partner of Nexo.